So in my recent uh, Walmart grocery haul, I picked up this. There was two different flavors. This one is the aged white cheddar, but there was also a bacon version. For now, I just got this one because they were a bit expensive. Um, but it's supposedly it's a microwave meal. So. going to try this out. I'm kind of iffy on the microwave part of the french fries, but we'll see. Lift corner of film, position the poutine, and center of microwave, heat the poutine 30 minutes. Three minutes, sorry. Heat for three minutes and stir gently to bring the sauce on top. Heat for an additional one minute and serve. Okay, in the microwave it goes. Okay, so we've got one more minute to cook. We're going to stir. Um, definitely tell that it's still frozen. I guess I put it back in for one minute and then I'll come back when it's ready. Okay, let's take this off. See how it is. I need to add more time. This is what it looks like better. I feel like this one is a lot harder to not do like what is box versus actual. But yeah, there's definitely some fries in here that I look like. No, I know they can happen with any french fries, but. Hmm. He isn't bad. The gravy's interesting. Though I feel like it could go in for like another 30 seconds or 45 seconds. Like it's not cold, but it's not like steaming hot either, which. Mm. Mm. The gravy is definitely what makes it interesting. Um, I'm definitely going to try the bacon one, but this one I wouldn't give more than like a 7. It's good. The gravy definitely needs some work. Um, but yeah, I feel like I'm going to throw it back in for the... 38 to 45 seconds. I'm probably still going to rate it to 7, but... Hmm. As you get further down, the sauce is definitely warmer.
Mm, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to bother heating it again, but seven for sure.